Hello everyone. Let's solve the problem that is dim display whenever we are turning it on. The display show is very dim. We are unable to read. It is very difficult to read the display. As well as there is no sound as you can see. You can see the display running. You can see the display running. But there is no sound. This Casio CTK Babylon 5.0. Now we will check what's the exact problem, which component has failed, or in which section the problem exists. Let's continue. Please watch the video till the end. If you are not yet subscribed, subscribe to our channel. Just turn the keyboard upside down. Here we can see you need to only remove this part. So see that we will remove the screws. Show yes. Here you see, we need to remove only this part. So we will remove the screws only to this extension here. Only this part screws will remove. This part from here to here. Just turn it upside down. Take out this here. Okay. So, as you can see, okay, there are two PCBs. This one is supply as well as output amplifier that is to drive the speakers and this one is the main display control and music control logic board so as we are facing dim display either display is not getting full power full voltage or there is something short which is causing the voltage to drop or the display has gone bad if there was only display was dim and sound wave, everything was okay, we would assume that there is something with problem with the display sir. But as we are not hearing the sound as well, so we need to check with the voltages and the power of the amplifier whether the amplifier IC is loading the voltage, is consuming the voltage. So we we'll connect it and check for voltages. So here, this is the battery input voltage, negative and positive. Here you can see we are getting 9.2 volts. Okay, input is okay. We need to check the output voltage. That is here. You can see pin number four. So there is no output which is causing. See. So there is something, some component short. Check it. For that, we need to remove this board. Just turn this. Zoom this. here this part it will be greased there will be grease there so that actually there is no potentiometer so this slide is there and everything works on the PCB with the carbon tracks okay now we need to 
check the voltage or the will check whether any components are short cold testing that we call so here this is the input so here and here this is the main filter capacitor Two two ones. Here, this is the main filter capacitor. Here you can see these are the main filter capacitors for filtering out the AC components. To check, it is charged presently, so we will discharge it. Okay. So it is charging and discharging. So again here. I think this board it has been attempted for repair and they have replaced the amplifier I see here you can see the output amplifier I see has been soldered but they have not cleaned it by that we can make out that they have tried repairing it but not successfully Transistor, first we check for it whether it is short. It is not short. So, here this is the negative. Okay. So, here it is showing short. It is showing short. Yes, we will remove it and check. It is a capacitor here, condenser. So, remove it. that the crack won't get damaged so let us check with this condensed capacitor ok short it so that if any charges are there they will get discharged so this capacitor itself is short so now we will replace it and check whether it that this component itself is short so we need a value of 1000 microfarad 6.3 volts that is 5 volts a filter for 5 volts you can go for a 1000 microfarad 10 volts capacitor as well not a problem capacitor now this capacitor is a little bit bigger in size so what I'll do is I'll make it sleep on the board somewhere uh, you know, there is place and be careful with the polarity negative and positive here you can see a negative mark so we need to be careful with that So I can sleep it here in this way and make sure that here it won't get or else okay, I can I can mount it in a straight way if it causes trouble then I can mount it in a angled way so or I can solder it
just let me clean the media so I'm going to replace with IP. See that you not apply the IP or any kind of chemical on these carbon door contacts or carbon coating. Sit back here inside this that is headphone socket as well as AC adapting socket first inside and the PCB should mount in these two brackets. So first we will fasten two screws. We attach the screws to the magnet of the speaker so that you won't lose them. So now first I will attach two screws and check for the working okay. so, okay. now I think it will work fine because the display is totally bright you can see okay. we have removed the shot the condition was the complete it was closing sound as well as dim display it was loading 5 volts that is the reason we are unable to okay. Okay, now we will pack it back and check further turn it off ok we will check for the volume ok roll it off Adapter. So fix the screws first. Fix all the screws wherever this symbol is being given. Okay, now after fixing all the screws. Turn it here in this way, fix it in the grooves on the side, okay. turn it holding the tray key, okay. now we will fasten the screws, body screws. the opposite side first Now we will check it once again. Okay.
problem in solving the problem no sound problem of CTK Casio CTK 1150 keyboard electronic keyboard musical keyboard if this video has helped you and you have liked it kindly hit the like icon share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed thank you for watching everyone have a good time